In this video we shall take question number 32 of miscellaneous exercise of chapter 7, Integrals, of NCERT Maths Textbook, Class 12. Hello friends, the question is like this. Evaluate the definite integral x tan x upon sec x plus tan x dx from the limits 0 to pi. Let us see that how we shall solve this question. Firstly we assume the given definite integral as equal to i. To begin solving, we can see that the given integral can be considered as the product of two functions. x can be taken as the first function while the trigonometric part as the second function. When we are given the problems of definite integrals we try to remove x and convert the integral as an integral of single function. In this question the removal of x is possible. For this we apply the property fx dx from the limits 0 to a is equal to f of a minus x dx from the limit 0 to a. Applying the property we get i is equal to pi minus x into tan pi minus x upon sec pi minus x plus tan pi minus x dx from the limits 0 to pi. Now tan pi minus x is equal to minus tan x, and sec pi minus x is equal to minus sec x. So we get i is equal to minus pi minus x into tan x, upon minus sec x, minus tan x dx from the limits 0 to pi. Cancelling the minus signs in numerator and denominator, and opening the bracket in the numerator, we get i is equal to pi tan x minus x tan x upon sec x plus tan x dx from the limits 0 to pi. i is further written as difference of two integrals. First is pi into tan x upon sec x plus tan x dx from the limit 0 to pi, second is x tan x upon sec x, plus tan x dx from the limit 0 to pi. The second definite integral is equal to i itself. Therefore we write, i is equal to pi into tan x upon sec x plus tan x dx from the limit 0 to pi minus i or 2i is equal to pi into tan x upon sec x plus tan x dx from the limit 0 to pi. We mark this equation as equation 1. Now we shall simplify tan x upon sec x plus tan x, for this we multiply and divide the fraction with sec x minus tan x, which gives tan x into sec x minus tan square x upon sec square x minus tan square x. Now sec square x minus tan square x is equal to 1, so we get the value as tan x into sec x minus tan square x. Since we cannot integrate tan square x directly, therefore we place tan square x as sec square x minus 1, as we can integrate sec square x directly. So the final value of the fraction is tan x into sec x minus sec square x plus 1. Placing the simplified value of tan x upon sec x plus tan x, in equation 1, we get 2i is equal to pi into integration of tan x into sec x minus sec square x plus 1 dx from the limits 0 to pi. Integration of sec x tan x is sec x and integration of sec square x is tan x, therefore, we get 2i is equal to pi into sec x minus tan x plus x from 0 to pi. On solving the limits we have, 2i is equal to pi times sec pi minus tan pi plus pi minus sec 0 minus tan 0 plus 0 now sec pi is equal to minus 1 tan pi is equal to 0 sec 0 is equal to 1 tan 0 is equal to 0 so we have 
2 i is equal to pi into minus 1 minus 0 plus pi minus 1 minus 0 plus 0 or 2 i is equal to pi into pi minus 2 odd i is equal to 1 upon 2 times pi into pi minus 2 which is the required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you